We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Mariners. Major League Baseball on the Show starts now. Taiwan Walker will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Stepping into the box, Brett Gardner. And as you can Yankees. tell easily from the splits, the he's really field. struggled away from Brett their home ballpark. Gardner. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second but this team has not played well they find themselves losing lately they lost the last game and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man hey. and it's two balls and two strikes now Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Torres waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. I know in today's game, everybody's trying to go yard. But can you look at having a better at bat as a leadoff hitter? You take it full count, you make the pitcher work, and then you come through with a knock? Great start. Now at the plate, Torres. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Torres is really a well-balanced hitter. It doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. He's going, he's going, yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Seager fields it cleanly. And that's out number one. That is third. The designated hitter, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge, who comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. Guy continues to swing a hot bat. Hit over 300 last month. We'll see if he can keep scorching here in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. That was a nice job that to track cool. that one down to the alley right because field. it definitely Don't saved the run from scoring. Instead, he's only able to move up to third. Now in the box, Giancarlo Stanton. And he's the right man for the job with runners in scoring position as he ranks fifth in the AL in RBIs entering play. 
Well, big-time power threats like him tend to rack up a lot of RBIs. He's also way up there on the home run leaderboard. First offering on its way. Cut fastball taken for strike one. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, d -Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. behind the plate and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two Gardner on third with two out hit sharply on the ground he's got it throw to first in plenty of time and his side is retired one left for the Yankees it's the Yankees nothing Mariners coming to bat Major League Baseball is on the show James Paxton, the left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Here's D. Gordon now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Gordon! There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've had it go in the last 10 games. They're 7-3 and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about 5-9 to nine games, got the advantage. You don't... One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. Two and one count now to the Mariners' leadoff batter. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Batting second, the center fielder, Mallet. Miss. So here's Malik Smith. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Four home runs and 21 driven in. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Well, I'll tell you, he doesn't look very comfortable on this mound right now. This mound isn't the same one that he pitches at at home. I know they all look the same, but they're not all the same. 2 0 count, the pitch. Ball, that's inside. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 0, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. Three balls and a strike to count to Malik Smith. Here's a look over to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there and that's out number one. Not too often you see an at-bat go from three and oh to a that strikeout. So that's a pretty right good field. job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free Hedegar. strike on the 3 0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone.
Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Pitch out. One and one. Nothing doing. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. Tagged by Torres, and he's out at second base. Paxton peers in. Here's the 2-1. Three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor. Three and one. And the count will be full. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there. And that retires the side. None left for Seattle. We are still scoreless. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Previously with Taiwan Walker, he comes in as a 316 hitter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. LeMayhew, playing here in his age 31 season. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. I'll tell you what, boys. I'd like to be this guy's agent. He's approaching free agency. He's one of the best players in our game. He's lived up to everyone's expectations, and I expect him to get absolutely paid this offseason. Heading out towards shallow right. On the run is Henniger. He's there and records the first down. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Mike Talkman. In now, Mike Talkman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. Nope. Ball one. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Now the 1-0. He's looked at for the first strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. No score here as we play inning number two. Nope. And he misses two and one. Two one. All even now, two and two. Fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. That was swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. That is, that is. So bases are empty That's here with two gone. And striding Miguel. into the plate, it'll be Miguel and Duhar. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Fouled off. A 
the 1 1. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Two out, nobody on. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Here it comes. Hot shot on the ground is short. Right to him. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in now for the Mariners, Daniel Vogelback. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. Man. Number 20. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on and missed. Vogelback, a 27-year-old, he was taken in the second round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar yeah, level, okay. but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he got him. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, Batting fifth. if you can keep that pitch the in your back pocket thing. and pull it out when Kyle. you need it like he did right there, Deeper. usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As he'll take a look at ball one, Haxton. Also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots. He was a fourth round selection back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything. And that's exactly what this guy has done. And he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And it's fouled away. The one two is taken for ball two. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he fouls this one off. Now another two two. Hey, if you're going to get a swing on a pitch that far in off the plate, pretty much options are wide open. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success that with it. Fit. Some say it has the more catcher. bite than the traditional Stop. curveball, but I think it's more Perfect. of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Knuckle curve and a beauty two and one now. Into the corner and slicing foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah, just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on this Monday night.
after this. New inning set to get underway. Now at the plate, the Mike Ford. Baseball. Mike Ford. Here comes the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Ford playing here in his age 26 season. This is his second year as a major leaguer. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. To two balls and two strikes now. Full count, three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. And with that, let's take a moment to show you what's happening in the American League's Western Division. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Kyle Higashioka. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Popped up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. Now batting, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now, one for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Nola will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Into the box now, Dom Thompson Williams. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. The 1 0 home. Thompson Williams, just 24 years of age, he was a fifth round pick back in the 2016 first year player draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Batting eight, the left fielder, Austin Nola. Digging in, Austin Nova, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here it comes. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. 
And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, that's Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters oh. to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Dylan Moore. As he lays oh, off a fastball no too low for ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Too high, and it's three and oh. D. Gordon would be next. Two out, nobody on. And he Whoa. takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The batter, number nine, second baseman. D. So it's back to the top of the order now. Gordon. And up next, the speedy D. Gordon. Delivery to him on the way. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Grounded to first. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for Seattle. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He'll lead it off here against Taiwan Walker. This Labor. game is rolling right along Four. as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Here comes the first pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here's the one and two delivery. That's the ball. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Nola is right there. And he puts it away for the first down. The batter, the designated hitter, Aaron Judd. So one away here with the bases empty. And that will bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. 
Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Judge, who fittingly gets the nickname All Rise, who was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. And he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four-pitch walk here. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking the that bat. guy. He's capable of taking you deep every time John he digs Carlo. in, so it's not the worst yeah. thing in the world to work around him if you can. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Stanton, 30 years of age, is almost certainly headed to represent the American League in this year's All-Star Game. He's currently leading all right fielders in fan votes. Yeah, this comes as no surprise. This guy is one of the best players in the game, a superstar, and that's what the All-Star Game is about. The fans getting to see the best players put on display. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Fouled away. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. And this is a strike three called. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Now Sometimes we see great Second hitters pitch. have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take. But on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Walker a move to first. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-0. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. From the belt, kicks and deals. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and No runs, just one hit. And no errors for the Yankees so far. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three and one pitch ah. is taken for strike two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He pops it up. Gordon onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. Onto the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. So digging in now, Malik Smith, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. On the ground to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Now batting right fielder, Mitch Henniger. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And he'll dive back in safely. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Lead-off man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Throw over to the bag, and he's back easily. A runner at first with no outs here. Bullet back up the middle. Gardner is right there, one down. Now batting, number 20. Dan Vogelbach is next. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. The 1-1. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And the 2 1 pitch. Strike taken. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's Kyle. clear to me that his rhythm and timing, Seeker. they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Stepping in now, Kyle Seeger fouled off. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. On the ground to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Mariners leave one. 
through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game and that they just need to stick to the process. Thank you, Heidi. Ready for another chance? Mike Talkman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here it comes. The 1 0 home. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. And he fouls this one off. Here now the two two. We got three and two. Miguel Andujar is on deck. The payoff pitch home three. is in there. A called strike three. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off piece. balance. Even when he, he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. He's 0 oh for 1 thus far. That's and he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2 and 0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring nope. the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. 3-0 and to him now. One out, nobody on. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And he's going to make it there, barely, as he's into second base with a double. How about it? I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. to the plate now Mike Ford there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that nearly broke our scoreless tie instead it's a foul ball both teams with just two hits apiece thus far tough to do much with that one a swing and a miss there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while it's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Working for the punch out and the offering. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. From the stretch. Chopper to short. Scooped up. 
And there are two away now. Up next for the Yankees, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. So coming to the plate, Kyle Higashioka, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Higashioka. A California-born ball player. He was selected in the seventh round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Yank on the ground down the line. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now, working the edges, painting the corners, but he left this one right over the plate, and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he'll take a look at ball one. He's one for two in this one. One and oh, here it is. Two out here and a runner at second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here comes the one and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Now one nothing Yanks. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Go for the Mariners. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The catcher. Next for Seattle, oh. Tom Murphy. He leads Murphy. off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Liner in there for a base hit. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Striding forward now is the DH, Dom Thompson-Williams. He flew out in his last at-bat. Pitch coming, here it is. A bouncer up the middle. 
gloved by LeMahieu. He'll go to the bag for one. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was now too late. After fielding this one cleanly, you see he tries to take it himself at second base, but they just can't turn the double play. Riding in once again, Austin Nova. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Gardner is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, shortstop, Dylan Moore. Coming to the plate now, Dylan Moore. He drew a base on balls his first time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. One one. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with, but there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Side and that'll run things full three and two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Hard ground ball to third. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first, and there are two on and two out now. That's the difference in today's games. The pitcher will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter Florida. was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. And here's the speedster, D. Gordon. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Gordon is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Hit hard towards center. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The better fielder, number And double now zero. time will be called here as you see the now pitching left. coach making his way out to the mound to pay Man. a quick visit. Malik Smith the next to hit. As he grounds one briskly to short. Throw yeah. over to LeMahieu at second and that'll do it. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Five innings complete, all tied at one and one. Digging in now for the Yankees, Torres. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Labor Torres.
Here comes the first pitch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Rowe, he extends his hitting no streak to seven it games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Aaron Judge is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 2 now. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board, so both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Owen won the count. From the stretch. We got one ball, one strike. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. Ball and he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ball three. Team's been struggling on Down offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. The 3 1 lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Fouled away. Another one sent foul. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now, now with one away. The second baseman, DJ. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility, meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Your Mr. Attention, Cortez please. Jr. takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are Number two 30. on with only one Chester. away. Cortez Jr. DJ LeMayhew will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Set and the pitch. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The 1 0. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases.
first and second now, one man out. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. Yep, one and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. The one, two. Two, two, yep. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say now it. Not a lot of good scoring it. opportunities, and Mike. when they've had them, like Mark. right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. In now, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One and oh, here it is. Count is one and two now. One and two, here it is. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Yanks strand a pair. Score remains deadlocked at one. Ready for another shot now. Mitch Henniger will start things out against James Paxton as we get the inning underway. Henniger. First pitch of the at bat. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. That evens it up one and one. Pitch on the way. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, Daniel Vogelback. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Well. Bases are empty, one man out. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. To two and two now. Two and two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Three and two now. The payoff pitch home is a called third strike down in the zone. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on the strikes bat. in this the one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Seager.
So now to the plate, Kyle Seeger. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Paxton steps into his windup. 0 1 on its way. Nope. Ball, Ball one. The 1 1 home. Boy, he looks strong up there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. The one two. Lifted down the line and left. And that is down as that could be two bases. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those two. one, two, three oh. easy innings. But now Murphy. all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. At the plate, Tom Murphy. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball. One and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Yeah. And a strike to even the count. One and one. That's Good cool. idea with the change, but it's two and one. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Danger averted following the two-out double. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Seventh inning ready to roll. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. First offering on its way. And it's fouled away. The 0-1. Look out, one and one. This is hit softly to third. And this will be no problem over at third. And there's the first down. Now batting the first baseman, Mike Ford. Now batting Mike Ford. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. In there at the knees. Strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. The Mike Ford is the Kyle. second out in the seventh he inning. the plate now Kyle Higashioka as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one he's working on a one for two game so far into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 oh, that's good. Two out, nobody on. That misses, and we're even at two and two.
rounded back up the middle. Gordon is up with it. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is Ladies over. So Please the join. Yanks go With one, two, three. Still tied correct. one apiece. Your Luis Sessa gets the call from the pen now, to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Number seventh. 85, Luis Sessa. Riding in, Dom Thompson Williams. Way to go for two of the runs scored so far. The designated hitter. Dom. Ready with the first pitch. Dom Here it comes. Williams. And that misses one inside 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Is strike two swinging. One and two. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Not surprised he's late on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Smoke toward the hole. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. The batter, the left fielder, Austin Nola. To the plate now, Austin Nola. Nope, that's the ball. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1 0. Oh. No hits to this point. Hey. A high strike there, and it's 1 and 1. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit on the ground to third. Enduhar fields it cleanly. LeMay Hugh for one. On to first, and they get the double play, but boy, was he ever upended at second base. Up next well, it was a promising start That's with the leadoff stop. man on Miller. in a tie ball game, but there's oh. nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. At the plate, Dylan Moore. Now the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mariners go down quietly there. Score remains tied one to one. Brendan Brennan has been Your summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so now to start the eighth. Number 65, Brandon. Brennan. Ball set for the start of the inning, so the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at bat. The bouncer to the left side. There is Seeger. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. Now that one away. Well, I think he got Lee away Lee. with one right there. Four. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Settling in now, Torres. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right-hander is up to throw. The 1-0. One out, nobody on. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. 
Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there, but the outfielder does now a really that. good job, d row of getting that one quickly Aaron. and getting it back in Go. to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner in that there, not putting his head down, being over-aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play yeah, happening in front of him. Free and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, D-Roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that line to a double. Wait. Here's big Aaron Judge. Pitch out, nothing doing. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Not close. It's 2-0. Oh. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And another throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Now the 2-0. Oh. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Fouled away. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes. Two away. In a double play situation, you kind of expect right most here. pitches to be down in the zone, oh. hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Runner. Giancarlo Stanton now. Mitch misses low. The throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too, but he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. In the dirt here, and the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and oh. Two and one now. Two and one, here it is. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. We're right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. He sent the 3 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. 
Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Runners on first and third, two away. Fouled off. The 0-2. Skied into straightaway right. Giving Chase his Hediger. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Yanks strand a pair. Score remains deadlocked at one. Your Tyler Wade please. will stay in the ball game the as a new shortstop. The now playing shortstop. Number 14. Tommy Kingley Tyler is on to pitch out of the Williams. bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. The New York Yankees. Number 48. Tommy Kingley. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping up to the plate, D. Gordon. So baseman. far, two for three D. in this one. Gordon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. And there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go-ahead run. <laughs> the zero, not a bad double, night. Double three zero. singles, but hey, you'll take well, uh, three for four every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Stepping in now, Malik Smith. Well, As he'll square around to bunt, then pull back for ball one. Bunt attempt misses that time for strike one. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. And there's one down now. Now battle. The right fielder, Mitch Henniger. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Henniger. He went down on strikes last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, I can't. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Kainley is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Gartner on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. now batter, number 20.
Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He's set. Here it comes. Ball one, no fight. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Here's the 2 0. 3 and 0 now. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Ready with the 3 and 0. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Three and one, here it is. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. One hit, one left. Ninth inning coming up, all tied at one and one. Dan Altavia will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Dan Altavilla. At the plate, Mike Talkman. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1 1 tie. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya. Solo shot to right center as they've taken a one-run lead. Hey, with one swing of the bat, that closer better get ready. He's going to be doing some work in the bottom half of this inning. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. his wind up here comes the 1 0 and he chased one there as this is bounced to short reined in and a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out up next for the Yankees the first baseman Mike Ford digging in Mike Ford one run in and one gone so far this inning first pitch of the at bat on its way there's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Yeah. 
That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And here's a pitch First inside, base. and that got him. Now Stepping in, Kyle Higashioka. One Kyle. in, one out, Higashioka. and one on here in the inning. From the stretch. A bouncer to the left side. To second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. And some dramatics here in the top of the ninth as this home run gives him the lead. Last chance coming up for the Mariners. Two to one, New York. Your attention, please. So now with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the Number ball over to a formidable force Aroldis. indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate, Here Kyle Seager will try to follow up the double the in his last at bat with Kyle. another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he lays oh, off for ball one. Hey. And it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The, the best ones have that the late action that just darts at the last minute. Mercy. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Tom Murphy. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. In the air out to straightaway left. Tuckman is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. Now batting, the designated hitter, John Thompson Williams. Stepping in, Dom Thompson Williams. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh. And that misses 1-1. One and one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Fastball well outside. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Hit back up the middle. LeMayhew's got it. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Now better. The left field. Hey, this game is close oh, right yeah. here, but I'll take you inside the mindset oh, wow. even if it was a blowout. I know the team's down to their final out, but you'll be hard pressed to ever find an offensive player give away an AB. Nice infield single right there to keep the line moving. Standing in, Austin Nova. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he swims through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. 
Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Good pitch as this is swung oh, on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Last chance for the Mariners. That's Close, ball. but it's not over yet. That's ball two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Quick check on that tying run at first. A dive, but he's back. A runner on first with two away. And again a throw. No, he's safe. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The New York Yankees came through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Tommy Kingley gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Aroldis Chapman wraps it up for the save, his 13th of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.